So let's take a look at the Cromville um, app, uh, augmented reality app, very, very impressive. And let's have a look at how we can use it in an educational context, which I think is really, really important with these sort of apps. So um, we can get the most out of it with our students. So I've gone to the uh, Cromville uh, site and downloaded some um, worksheets. I'm gonna open it now. And let's take a look at it first. So the first thing I've done is um, we're gonna press play. This app is really easy to use, which is fantastic. I'm gonna press play. And the first worksheet we're gonna have a look at is the customized one. Um, so I'll open up the customized. I'm gonna hold it over my worksheet. It gives me some good instructions. And then what it then does is it takes my design and puts it in a little 3D character, which is really, really cool um, in regard to students uh, creating. The thing that I like about this augmented reality app too is the students are actually designing and the design comes through on the augmented reality experience. It's not just coloring in, which is fantastic. Um, so that's really, really impressive. So what I've done there is a little character. We're gonna look at today how to use this um, app in a, a teaching of a narrative, um, a story. Um, and so we'll take a little bit of a look at it, but let's take a look at one other of the aspects there. I've also done the Greenland chapter one. So I'm gonna press on Greenland, um, hold that up over my worksheet. I haven't finished it yet, but you can see that this is chapter one and they've got numerous chapters that you can download and print. Um, this one here is a little bit different, a little bit more three-dimensional. You've got the tree, you've got the design coming through as well, which is a fantastic stimulus um, for narrative writing. And that's what we're gonna use it there for today, is actually getting kids to write descriptive uh, pieces and descriptive narratives using this app. So the first thing I've done is, after I've got my kids and students to do that, I've jumped into a brainstorming app. So I'm gonna jump into Poplet, and you can see here that I've taken, um, I've taken a photo of each of my characters here. Um, you can see at the top there is character de development, and I've started brainstorming some qualities and some different things about my, um, uh, my character. Over here, I've taken, um, I've taken my uh, character here um, in chapter one, and I'm starting to actually um, write and brainstorm the orientation, which is the setting of the scene. So I'm looking at good descriptive writing, I'm looking at where this is set and so forth. I guess my only criticism of this um, app at the moment is just the worksheets and, and what's on each worksheet. I would have loved the first chapter ju just to have been uh, the scene setting, you know, just really focused on uh, the environment and, um, and setting the scene before it jumps into the character. I, I guess that's my only criticism of it. Um, it's a fantastic, it's easy to use. It really does showcase augmented reality in the best possible way. And then after I've done my brainstorming here in Poplet, I would actually get my students to actually start um, start actually writing my actual story there, which I, I think is really, really important. So in wrapping up, this is a great stimulus, a fantastic stimulus for descriptive writing. I would focus it actually more at the year three and four level, around the six to nine years of age, where they, they can actually write narratives. I think the first reaction would be to give this to, to very young students color in design and do the AR experience. I actually think it's more targeted at a, at a upper age so that students can actually be inspired by the visuals and the augmented reality and then actually write their story. So that's just a really, really quick um, look at the Cromville uh, app and the worksheets that are associated with it. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.